This is Star Talk Sports Edition. Things you thought you knew. Ooh, yeah. Got Gary Riley. Gary. Hey, Neil. All right, Chuck Nice, my co hosts here. Hey, what's happening? All right, guys. Guys, so we're going to do some explaining today. Uh huh. And I want to talk about the exit velocity of home runs in baseball. Ooh. You know, Ooh. now that they can report this information, they do. You mean like. When you hit a baseball into space? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, no, that would be escape velocity. Oh, that's oh, the escape velocity. Uh, escape uh, velocity. Oh, oh okay. 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 Yeah, nobody, nobody done that yet, not even. Yeah, I was going to say, how many steroids does it take to make that happen? <laughs> <laughs> be up there in the space station and baseball goes by. So back to exit velocity. So they've been tracking this. So a couple of interesting things to consider. Um, the, you know, they're typically to get out of the stadium, the ball has to leave the bat. Depends on the angle, of course, but has to leave the bat anywhere between 90 and 120 miles an hour. Um, and depending on the angle, many yeah. of them that I've seen are between like 95 and 110 miles an hour, but you can easily pop home runs at hundred miles an hour exit velocity. But I have an issue. I have an issue. Okay. The only way to get the velocity of the ball is to use a Doppler phenomenon on it. You use a Doppler speed gun, basically what the cops use when they fire microwaves mm -hmm. at you, wait for the return signal, see how much it has Doppler shifted, and then they can calculate, all right, based on the speed of the light and the return signal, how fast you were going, and they'll do that for how fast the baseball was going. Here's the problem. You only get the correct speed if you are looking exactly in the direction the ball is coming. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. If you are at any angle to that, you will measure you a lesser speed than the actual ball is moving. And if you and if you are if you are sideways to it, the speed you're going to measure is zero because the ball is neither coming towards you or away from you. That's the it's limit. It's not reflecting any light back to you. But, well, uh, in the direction it's moving, correct? Right, mm. in the direction okay. it's moving. Cor okay, so I do not know how they are getting the actual velocity of the ball after it leaves the bat, which would require, okay, a a um, one of the uh, radar measurement radar guns in the exact line of the ball itself. Okay, so one of these would have to be mounted in the catcher's groin, looking up at the ball, <laughs> or something. Okay. You by the way, you just made me want to watch baseball because I want to know what's happening with the groin cam. The groin cam. I'm, I'm all Look about the groin cam, okay? Oh, no. <laughs> so, or a camera or a, a radar gun floating in the middle of the stadium in the air in the direction that the ball was hit so that the measurement is along the sight line of the camera itself, which is why the person measuring the speed of the pitcher sits behind home plate behind the, the screen, okay? Yeah, right. They're in the exact line, all right? And which is why if a cop stops you and they're not directly in front of you on the road- You're they, black. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, That's case I, one. I, I, case I'm two. I'm pretty sure I, I clocked you at uh, 90 miles an hour. Uh, bro, you were no, you weren't even here. What are you talking about? You were sitting in the rest stop. What are you saying? <laughs> All right. So. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, point is, uh, I ha I don't know how they're getting the velocity off the bat unless they're measuring it straight on. If they're measuring it straight on, then they're getting the wrong speed. But then they have to measure the angle. Okay. Now. Here's another issue I have. The angle they're giving it is the angle the ball is leaving the bat with the horizontal. Okay? Right. All right. Was it 10 degrees up, 20, 30, 40? But that's not the angle that matters here. They're doing it wrong. Okay? <laughs> okay. That's... Okay. That's not the, because, because the 
angle the bat is swung at. Okay? That has to factor in here somehow. So here's, one, what, here's something we know in physics. If you want to send an object, a projectile, as far as possible from where you're standing, you want to throw it at a 45 degree angle, which is exactly midway between zero and 90. Right. In that mm -hmm. way, all the energy that lifts it equals all the energy that propels it. Okay? Right. And that way, neither one nor the other sort of wins out, thereby carrying the ball as far as it possibly can go. That is not the farthest home run if you hit it at 45 degree angles. Here's the problem. If I swing the bat horizontally, as you're trained in, in Little League, right? Good mm -hmm. level swing, okay? And the ball goes up at like a 45 degree angle, let's say. All right. Some of the speed of your bat went to send the ball forward and some went to send the ball upwards, okay? Mm -hmm. The net speed is of the ball is less than that of your bat, okay? And we can know exactly what this, it would be the square root of two, it would be uh, one divided by the square root of two, okay? If you do the math on that, okay? Okay. But it, it, mm -hmm. it comes from the right triangles in your, what right. you took in eighth grade, okay? okay? That's the math that's in this. And I, you were probably thinking, Chuck, I will never need to know this. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah. it's so good to know that this has an application in baseball because <laughs> I'm sure no one's sitting in the, in the stands just like, hmm. If only I could remember my Euclidean math right now. <laughs> oh, nice. We would be able to <laughs> write, write that down on your stat card. Listen. <laughs> Your bat speed is only in the plane in which you are swinging the bat. Yep. Okay. So, if you are swinging in the limit horizontally, and the ball comes off at a 45 degree angle, you did not impart all the velocity of the bat to the ball. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right. So, the question is, how do you maximize the velocity of the bat to be imparted into the exit velocity of the ball. Uh, you get your GM to sign Aaron Judge. <laughs> so, and that's so, how you do that. <laughs> the way to do this, but they're not gonna do it, I'll tell you why in a minute, is to swing at a 45 degree angle. Hmm. Then, then, the 110 mile an hour moving bat will will send the ball at 110 miles per hour at 40 at a 45 degree angle. All of the it's, speed of the bat gets imparted to the ball. If, if sometimes if, it looks like that happens when you see like these power hitters kind of it looks like they go down and dig the ball up. Yes. <clears throat> so so what they're doing from the angles I've seen is they're swinging for the ball to go about 30 degrees up, okay? 45 is like, is, is no, they're not doing 45 degrees. 30 degrees with that power slugger, you know, down and up, those are coming in closer to 20 to 30 degrees angle. In so doing, 100% of the bat speed is transmitted to the ball. And at 30 degrees, even though that's not the best angle, it is the best combination of angle and speed given the configuration of what's going on at home plate. Okay, I don't, uh, does any of this make sense? So, yes. okay, now here's the problem. If you try to hit the ball at a 45 degree angle, but the ball is coming in horizontally, that's really hard. Because what's the limit of that? The limit of that is, let's say you wanna swing vertically up at the ball as it goes by. What are the chances of you succeeding at that? Okay, right. the ball's going by you 90 <laughs> miles an hour, and, and you're trying you're to chop at it. Chop at it, okay? <laughs> no, okay, so the steeper is your angle, 
that you're swinging relative to the angle of the pitch coming in makes it harder to make contact with the ball. And a 45 degree angle, that's a, that would be really hard to do that. So you want at least some of the bats plane to overlap the plane of the pitched ball. Okay, so that you make some kind of contact at all. So when you combine a swing that's up at an angle, but not 45 degrees, but definitely not horizontal because you're not getting your full speed out of that. You combine that with a slugger who's moving his bat at 120, 110 miles an hour, the ball comes in and there it goes off at 110 miles an hour. You've got it. And there's your home run. But I can tell you, if batters manage to make contact at a 45 degree angle, they'd hit the ball 600 feet. Wow. So in summary, uh, it's not realistic to swing the bat at a 45 degree angle. Right. You, it'll be, it's very hard to hit a moving target that way. So you pick a lower angle, such as 30 degrees, that still gives you a good chance of making contact with the ball. And most of the bat speed will be transmitted to the ball. Okay, to the forward motion of the ball. And if you swing the bat at 120 miles an hour, let's say, at the point of contact yeah. with the ball, a 30 degree angle, uh, if you swing horizontally and it goes up at a 30 degree angle, the cosine of 30 is 0.86, round that off to 0.9. So the ball is still hit with 90% of the speed of your bat. Um, so you're still, you're still doing well there. And if you increase the angle just a little bit, then all the bat speed goes to the ball, and the ball is launched at your bat speed. And wow. I, I'm still a question what numbers they're using in baseball. So I think what we have learned here is that Neil deGrasse Tyson is the only person that can have this conversation at a baseball field. <laughs> <laughs> what they should be doing, what they should be measuring is not the angle the ball is with the field, they should be right. measuring the angle the ball takes off from the, the swing plane of the bat. Gotcha. Okay? And that will tell you how much speed is not going to the ball that the bat had on contact. Okay? Because when the angle is 90 degrees, there's no forward speed going to the ball. It's a straight pop-up back to the catcher. All right? You so, that, so you can learn a lot that way. By, by getting these numbers accurate. And tell me the angle at which the batter swung the bat. I want to know that too, okay? So what we need to do is put a request out to our audience who are incredibly knowledgeable and say, do you have the answer to Neil's question? How are these metrics, how is this data being captured? And if needs be, come and speak to Neil and uh, he'll put it straight. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't think that they're doing it right. I don't see how they could possibly be doing it. Um, and, and I think the angle, it's not the interesting angle, the angle of, to the horizontal. It's the angle to the bat. That's a way more, and, and so, what angle do you want the ball to come off the bat with? You tell me right now after this conversation. 45 degrees. No, no. Back at the class for me. <laughs> <laughs> what angle do you want it to come off the bat Relative to the plane that you swung at. Come off the bat relative to, I want it to come off the bat straight off the bat. Thank you. Zero degrees off Zero the bat. Zero degrees. Okay. okay. Right off the so, bat. So if I'm swinging at 30 degrees, the ball is also coming off at 30 degrees. At 30 degrees. And right. all of my bat speed goes to the ball. Right. That's what you get. So Chuck, you move gold star on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, <laughs> Gary, you come to my office hours later. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. All right, that's all I got to say about pitch balls and angle you hit and all of that. So uh, here's the uh, takeaway, people. Uh, Major League Baseball is lying to you. No, I think I, I think <laughs> they are lying. I think they're being they're being zealous in their ability to measure. So then they put it. They measure everything, right? And they right, think right. they're getting it right, and and it's not okay. So I think there's more to be refined in that exercise that they've conducted in the sport. I, I love data. Who doesn't love data? Yeah. And so we'll, we'll see what, what the future of these measurements bring to not only the uh, fan appreciation, but managerial decisions. Uh, Stop lying, MLB. <laughs> Stop lying. They're just Stop trying, lying. They're, 
I applaud the <laughs> effort. Okay, let's put it that okay. way. All right, it's been another Star Talk Explainer, the Sports Edition. Edition. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Keep looking up. Yeah.